Now, when his mother explained to him that his father had died in Somalia, 12-year-old Chege Njoroge was distraught. But two years on, this shy little boy has come a long way in his healing process. Here is our Survivor Series this week. After her husband's death, Wangoi Njoroge had to move her children here so they could start a new chapter in their lives. Adjusting to the life of a single parent is hard for her, not just emotionally, but financially. The housewife has had to do all she can to maintain the lifestyle her husband provided for his family. <laughs> While his younger sister may not remember her father when she grows up, 12-year-old Chegen Joroge does not have that luxury. He remembers everything. I remember that he was a very good person. And... He didn't like much, but he was a very good person. But, yeah, I could not be our pigan in Al Shabab. I didn't be on a pigan and a tail out when you want to talk. Countries in Guinea do what when you want a pigan and now in Guinea was Ungu. Now can you be a Tasauko and Mungu? You do it to what in your beer wish. Mamma, the pig you are saying. Kupigiwa semu, akatuambia ati anaenda huko wankia kukonfam kwanza kama ni hea alikuwa meumia ama ni alikuwa makufa. Akaenda, kuenda, tukua tunamgojia. After maybe 30 minutes, akarudi. Kurudi sana diwa, akatuambia. Wakati yu nalisikia mbaya, na... Chege notices the changes, changes between the life he lived when his father was alive and how they live now. Size is your come up in a truqua Zamani. Zamani Kurukoku Bayasana, see your come aside. Kama Wakatu or Hatukona Stima. Sazele Cabrata to Jacujo will go up for Sana. Even though his mother provides everything, Chege, the firstborn of the family, seems to have matured faster than he should have. Two years later, despite the adjustments the family has had to make, he seems determined to do the best he can to make his mother proud. <laughs> Catherine on Wonder for the Survivor Series.